Just imagine being curled up in your 500 that count sheets, sound asleep in your familiar bed, only to awaken to the sound of animals screeching. It happened to Oklahoma resident Bonnie Moriarty. She woke up in shock, her heart beating faster than ever. Never did Bonnie think the night would lead to her wielding a golf club as a makeshift weapon, but she had little choice but to fight for her life. My husband was out of town so my poor kids are upstairs and I'm screaming. Bonnie Moriarty explained, remembering that disaster of a night in September 2018. There was no way to see such an emergency coming, not in quiet Bixby, Oklahoma. Initially, Bonnie didn't feel as though her and her children were in any danger. She was ripped from her soothing REM sleep around 4 a.m. by the sound of her cat screeching. Bonnie rolled her eyes, simply thinking this behavior just comes with the territory. See, Bonnie also has a dog, a miniature schnauzer to be exact, so she figured the two animals got in a little spat. But panic started to consume her once she heard the animals stampeding down the hall. Bonnie's hissing cat stormed into her bedroom at lightning speed. Rather than Bonnie's dog following shortly behind, an enormous mammal came shuffling into the room. Bonnie's face turned pale white. A furry, four-legged beast came blundering in, appearing to be some sort of canine, one that looked much more daunting than her fluffy pooch. It must have come from the section of woodland behind the backyard, and it was now standing mere feet from Bonnie and her cat. She stared at the animal for a second before realizing the frightening truth. Holy crud, I've got a coyote stuck in my bedroom, Moriarty remembered thinking in the moment. That's right, a coyote chased her cat around the house and into her bedroom. Though it seems wild as of 2020, Bixby residents have been losing pets and small livestock in recent years, all due to a sudden increase in coyotes in the surrounding area. Lock up those doggy doors, folks. That's what the neighbors will tell you. Jeremy Hall, who's lived there for seven years, explained to reporters that people witness these neighborhood coyotes on an almost daily basis. They either come right through there or they'll come right in front of the nursing home on this highway, he said. They've grown as a pack, Jeremy Hall stated. It started off, I believe, as just one or two. I think they've grown over the years had a few litters. Well, Bonnie refused to lose her beloved pets. She snatched up a nearby golf club. Before she could react, the situation got even more complicated. Bonnie was prepared to defend herself and her kitty, but before she knew it, her miniature schnauzer ran into the room, bravely barking at the coyote, defending his family. The coyote, confused and afraid, cowered in the corner and remained still. Naturally, coyotes are timid animals, so when the untamed canine ran into a room with an unfamiliar human who grabbed a golf club for self-defense, it was beyond scared. Typically, if a coyote lingers around a human, said person should begin hazing the animal. Hazing is a defense mechanism that involves any action that makes a person appear as big and sound as loud as physically possible. Granted, Bonnie was far from a wild animal expert. Wave or flail your arms around, clap your hands, scream at the top of your lungs, but never run or turn your back to a coyote. Bonnie may not have known to do this, but grabbing a golf club didn't hurt her situation. The coyote already felt confused and threatened just the same. By this point, Bonnie's kids were awake, trying to remain calm for their mom, who courageously shuffled to the bedroom door, locking the unpredictable wild animal in the room. Her heart was racing and it was time to call for help. With shaky fingers and a golf club in hand, Bonnie called the Bixby Police Department. It wasn't long before three officers arrived at the scene, ready to capture the muddled canine. They came with, I'm sure there's a term for it, a stick with a loop on the end? Bonnie told reporters, so I had three policemen in my bedroom trying to get the coyote out. Prepared with an animal catcher pole, the Bixby police officers cornered the petrified coyote, two of them managing to get the loops around its neck. They safely dragged the canine out of the house and released it into its woodland home. Able to breathe again, Bonnie made herself a promise. Though Bonnie feels safe in her community, she likely learned to tightly close and lock her back door nightly, as she believes the curious canine followed her indoor-outdoor cat inside through the back door. He lunged at the door and the door opened, she said. Well, lesson learned. Bonnie from then on made sure the only animals taking up space in her house were her beloved cat and dog, as well as her mangy kids. And while Bonnie Moriarty was able to detect what variation of canine her intruder was, not everyone is quite as savvy. In fact, it's not uncommon for people to mistake wild canines for domesticated doggos, which as you can imagine, comes with a slew of problems.